Chapter 221, A Trace of Dignity in the Mud Figure Suro, this is what you forced me to do. Upon discovering that the properties under his wife's name might be scenes of her affair, Fang Hao made a decision. He decided to purchase a DNA rapid testing device himself. In the market, advancements in forensic detective technology had led to the development of a device capable of testing DNA materials left by the deceased at crime scenes. While it couldn't compare to the large-scale equipment used by forensic institutions, it was effective for testing small samples, handling one to five samples at a time. Nevertheless, its accuracy was commendable. For Fang Hao, this device was more than sufficient. He didn't just think of it because Su Ro might be unfaithful, he remembered it from a social research project undertaken by Su Yu Cheng, which had a similar requirement. He had seen and understood the operation of such a device. Silently, Fang Hao accompanied his mother-in-law back to the villa, settled her in her room, and even performed acupuncture for her. Following that, he contacted Su Yu Cheng, engaged in a casual conversation, and then obtained the contact information for that research project. Upon contacting them, he found out that purchasing such a device in a personal capacity was impossible, one needed connections. Currently, within Jiangdong City, only Li Xiaoxi's husband's company was representing this kind of equipment. It seemed he would have to make a deal with Li Xiaoxi. Unexpectedly, even with Li Xiaoxi leaving the gynecology department, Fang Hao still couldn't avoid entanglements with her. It was truly unavoidable. The recent appearance of Zhou Jiajia had given him an idea, a semen test paper. The principle was simpler, allowing a quick determination of whether the sample contained semen. Once confirmed, it could be further tested by a machine for DNA identification. His wife was pregnant, and given Fang Hao's suspicions, there shouldn't be any intimate relations. However, with the presence of Zhou Jiajia, a young university beauty with blossoming feelings, there were fewer reservations. Zhou Jiajia had been seen being intimate with a stranger on campus, recorded by the surveillance cameras. Su Ro knew about it, and the suspected lover, Zhang Ling Tian, probably knew too. Naturally, he would scold Zhou Jiajia. Therefore, Zhou Jiajia expressed fear of Su Ro and only dared to come to the hospital when Su Ro took the child out. After the call, Fang Hao returned to the room and chatted with his mother-in-law for a few minutes. A few minutes later, Su Buyuan returned with a serious and guilty expression. His stern tone during the noon phone call had upset his wife. Fang Hao, how is your mother? His face appeared somewhat pale when he saw his wife undergoing acupuncture. She won't die for the time being, Fang Hao replied without a friendly expression. Why do you speak like that, showing no respect? Su Buyuan reprimanded Fang Hao. However, as their eyes met, he felt a bit timid, thinking about the good deed Fang Hao witnessed him doing. So, he softened a bit and said, you go out first. I'll talk to your mother for a while, and I'll find you later. Zhou Fen added, old Su, you don't understand anything. Don't meddle blindly. Fang Hao is a doctor, and what he says is right. I won't die for the time being. Both of you, go out. I need some rest. She waved her hand, signaling the two men to leave. All right, we'll be outside the living room. If you feel uncomfortable, just ring the bell. We can come in at any time. Su Buyuan comforted and adjusted the bedside bell. Shortly after, a ring echoed in the living room, a bell installed by him when Zhou Fen was recuperating at home some time ago. Coming out, Su Buyuan asked Fang Hao to enter the study. He said, Fang Hao, I've noticed that you've changed. Fang Hao replied, Enough, my mom has already told me about your change of heart. You now support your daughter, and there's nothing more to discuss between us. Also, don't think about transferring me to work, making me leave the hospital to become a grassroots civil servant in the health bureau. What are you thinking? Do you believe you're the only smart person, and everyone else is a fool? Fang Hao, do you? Do you have the right to speak to me like this? If you want me to respect you, then don't interfere in my affairs. Because, you're not a good person yourself. If it weren't for my mom's sake, with the scandalous things you've done as an educator, I would have reported you to the school leadership a long time ago. You? Su Buyuan didn't expect Fang Hao to bring up his affair with the female assistant to rebuke him, making him quite displeased. I just want to divorce Su Ro now. Your mess has nothing to do with me. You have no idea what evidence I have against Su Ro's infidelity. You oppose it? Do you have evidence? Otherwise, do you think I went to court for no reason? What evidence, I'm afraid it would scare you. Your daughter is not as good as you think, and you don't understand her at all. Of course, like father, like daughter. You're all the same. 
As Fang Hao turned to leave and grabbed the doorknob, he added, as for the job transfer, don't bother worrying about it. Otherwise, when a dog is anxious, it jumps over the wall. If I'm really transferred to the Municipal Health Bureau, I'll officially report you as a civil servant. In the end, we'll all end up in trouble, and you'll be even more embarrassed. Upon hearing this, Su Buyuan's face turned red, and his body seemed to lose strength as he sank into a chair. Not long after, Su Ro returned with the children. She anxiously asked, Husband, how is my mom? Go see for yourself. Fang Hao didn't give Su Ro a good look, walked out of the villa, and started smoking. Watching Fang Hao's departing figure, Su Ro felt a bit unfamiliar. She furrowed her brows but didn't have time to dwell on it. She first went into the room to check on her mother. Mom, how are you? How do you feel now? Do you need to go to the hospital? Why go to the hospital? Fang Hao is a doctor. He checked me, and I'm fine. Looking at her children who had just come in, Zhou Fen showed a kind smile, asking about where they played, what they did, and whether they had fun. Listening to the children's unskilled expressions, she could feel their innocence and vitality. She pondered in her heart. Perhaps Fang Hao was right, no matter how important one's career was, it shouldn't neglect family. Only those lacking capability would focus solely on one aspect. In my life, relying on a bit of cleverness in mathematics, I invested most of my energy into mathematical work, resulting in limited achievements. However, looking at my family now, I have failed. My husband and daughter are both having affairs outside. As a wife and mother, I am a failure. Watching her mother's weakened appearance, Su Ro felt heartache. She asked the children not to make noise here and went to talk to Fang Hao. She said to her mother, Mom, if you have something, don't hide it from me. Zhou Fen said, Xiao although you are my daughter, you are not as useful to me as Fang Hao. He understands me better. Every time something happens, Fang Hao is the first to appear by my side. I can see that, my daughter is not as good as my son-in-law. Your title is useless. Unfortunately, I'm old and can't create a new character. Sigh. Mom, don't scare me. Su Ro knelt on the carpet in front of the bed, leaning her head against her mother's chest, affectionate and reluctant. Zhou Fen stroked her daughter's dark hair, showing a hint of deep motherly affection. She said, My girl, mom is old, and with this illness, I'll die sooner or later. Mom, you won't. Rest assured, not now. That villager said I could live for a few more years, and I will. It's just that, when a person gets old, they inevitably think more. How does Pavel Korchagin's saying go? Mom, I remember. The most precious thing in life is life itself. Life belongs to us only once. A person's life should be spent like this, when looking back on the past, one doesn't regret wasting time in vain, nor feels ashamed for being unproductive. So, when facing death, one can say, I have dedicated my entire life and all my energy to the most precious cause in life. Mom, these decades of your life have been dedicated to mathematics. Yes, I should say that I have dedicated my life to mathematics. But now, I regret it and feel ashamed. Sigh, it's time. Let Fang Hao come in and remove the needles. Chapter 222, Wife's Confidence Husband, is my mom really okay? Su Ro saw Fang Hao putting the medical kit in the trunk and, noticing that he didn't want to stay in the villa, hurriedly asked. She's fine. Just don't upset her, and everything will be fine. Oh, since you're not going to work, stay here to take care of her. If you don't want to cook, hire a maid. Lao Dong called me just now. He and his wife won't be back so soon, and we need to help take care of Xiao Hu. You used to trouble them so many times, and now it's hard to refuse, so I agreed. Husband, can't you stay here? I can't. I need to go to the maternal and child health hospital for something. If there's a problem, call 120 to take her to the hospital, or call me. Fang Hao closed the trunk, took the daughter sitting in the car, pinched her little face, and let her go inside. Husband, today is the weekend. Can't you take a break? Our savings are not small now. Even if we don't work for a year or two, we can still get by. You don't have to push yourself so hard. Su Ro tried to keep Fang Hao, grabbing his arm and asking him not to leave. Enough, why are you saying all this? It's hot here. Go inside. Fang Hao pushed away Su Ro's hand, started the car, and left. Su Ro frowned a bit but didn't think too much about it. She went back inside. Su Buyuan asked his daughter to come to the study, closed the door, and said directly, Xiao just as you said, Fang Hao warned me just now. He said if I continue to interfere with his work, he'll make it difficult for me. If I insist on sending him to the health bureau, he will report me, and we'll both end up in a mess. 
Seeing him like this, how about you just divorce him? We can't afford to provoke such a person. No, we can't divorce. Dad, why can't you understand the meaning behind Fong Hao's words? He's just bluffing you. He won't do such things. His personality is full of kindness, patience, and consideration for the family. He won't do anything harmful to others for his own benefit. Shuro smiled confidently. She saw through Fong Hao's character, he wasn't a cunning person but rather an honest, loyal, virtuous, and upright man. She continued, Dad, however, you really shouldn't provoke him anymore. Just leave him alone. I heard that he's going to be involved in a pilot project at a hospital, and they'll send many skilled people there. These parachuted individuals will surely hold important positions. Fong Hao has limited experience, he only recently became an attending physician. Even if he's lucky enough to get a promotion, it will only be to associate chief physician. Going further will be difficult. But isn't he in charge of a department now? That's a temporary and special situation. The obstetrics and gynecology department had issues recently and needed someone to take charge temporarily. Lu Yu is getting old, and the other doctors in the department don't have Fong Hao's abilities. So they let Fong Hao take charge temporarily. Tomorrow, a new director will come, and Fong Hao will have to hand over the authority and return to being an ordinary doctor. Speaking of which, Fong Hao's medical skills are indeed excellent enough for him to stay in the hospital. Suro spoke, feeling a bit proud. The man she found was so handsome, capable, and most importantly, proficient in all aspects, fully satisfying her. Can an ordinary doctor compete with a promising future as a civil servant in the health bureau? What is he thinking? Dad, Fong Hao is different from four years ago. He's not a fresh graduate anymore. He has accumulated four years of experience, significantly improving his medical skills. Look at the surgery he performed on Zhang Jun and my mom. It was a high-difficulty surgery that others wouldn't dare attempt, but he succeeded. Also, last night, he successfully rescued a difficult childbirth. Fong Hao is outstanding now. How could he go to the health bureau to do odd jobs? We didn't understand him before, we thought he was still the shy young man from four years ago. We were wrong. Let's not mention this matter, let him be a pure doctor. Sai, I didn't notice it until you mentioned it. Unconsciously, he has accumulated such excellent medical skills. I still saw him as the same person from four years ago. It seems I underestimated him. How should I treat him from now on? Just treat him as usual in daily life. You're his father-in-law, and he's your son-in-law. If you need him to do something, tell him to do it without being polite. Is he still insisting on divorcing you? Don't worry, I'll handle it in this regard. Suro spoke, still uncertain in her heart. However, she remained calm because she had someone much more outstanding than Fong Hao to rely on someone who would fully support her and help her through difficulties. Su Buyuan asked again, where did Fang Hao go? Is he going to Jiangdong University to find the school leaders? Dad, you're too timid. It's the weekend, and the leaders aren't working. How can he complain? He's not that foolish. He went to the maternal and child health hospital. Relax, stop thinking about this. Mom is feeling dizzy, and her thoughts are a bit confused. You should stay and accompany her. Also, ask uncle and cousin to come over and spend more time with mom, comfort her a bit. Su Ro finished speaking and went to accompany her mother. Meanwhile, in the car, Fang Hao was on a call with Lu Yu. He said, Director, is there an empty laboratory at Jiangdong University? Can I use it? I plan to buy some equipment and conduct experiments there. Lu Yu replied, Yes, that laboratory is available. If you want to use it, go ahead. Oh, the key is with Lu Jing, find her when you get back. She hasn't used it either. Fang Hao, you're too good. If only you were 40 years younger. Quit the sweet talk. Didn't I hear that the department was like a marketplace today? Why do you still have time to make a call? My mom isn't feeling well today, so I went to take care of her. I didn't open the clinic. Is Jojo okay? She's fine. She can't sit still and went to do a project. As a result, she overworked herself causing inadequate blood supply to her heart and brain, resulting in dizziness. I treated her, and there's nothing serious. She's resting at her place now. All right, hearing the words, nothing serious from you is reassuring. If that's the case, then I'm at ease. By the way, I'll find Lu Jing later and talk to her about the laboratory. If the key is with her, I'll come over, and I'll bring it to you tomorrow. Thanks, Director. Fang Hao hung up the phone and thought that Lu Yu was easy to talk to. Lu Yu was skilled at managing connections. 
After retiring from obstetrics and gynecology, she had two choices, return to the department or go back to the university to lead projects and mentor graduate students. Since Yang Wenjin didn't trust Li Xiaosi much, he brought Liu back. Now that Luo Xuejuan from the traditional Chinese medicine university had taken over as the head of obstetrics and gynecology, she wouldn't choose to work with Liu anymore. Fang Hao needed a place to house the fast DNA identification equipment. It wasn't practical to keep it at home. The most suitable and ideal place was the university laboratory. The instruments there were commonplace, making it easier to avoid suspicion. He knew how to operate the experiments related to DNA identification, such as electrophoresis, and with the equipment, he wouldn't need to approach colleagues in the forensic identification department. Before, he didn't dare to say he was getting his DNA identified when conducting transactions. Otherwise, if his senior brothers found out that he was wearing a green hat, it would be embarrassing for him. Additionally, the strong influence of Zheng Ling Tian made him cautious. If Zheng Ling Tian was the adulterer, he could easily influence the forensic identification institution, potentially altering results unfavorable to him. If someone tampered with the forensic identification results for his wife and her lover, Fang Hao felt that he would wear the green hat for the rest of his life. Chapter 223 I Don't Want This Moral Integrity Anymore Fang Hao why are you here? Li Xiaosi looked up and saw Fang Hao enter, feeling somewhat puzzled. Fang Hao walked up to Li Xiaosi, sat down directly, and gave her a thumbs up, saying, Director Li, I heard that since you took office, you've been working diligently. I've come to learn from you, and it seems true. I just checked the entire leadership floor, and you are the only one working, Director Li. All right, Fang Hao, you never come unless there's something important. What do you want from me? Wait, don't rush to speak. Let me guess. Li Xiaosi stood up, poured a glass of water for Fang Hao, handed it to him, and continued, Tomorrow, my junior sister will take over, and your temporary position as the head will be over. If you came for work, you should have approached me earlier. Last night, my junior sister and I even went to the spa, and we talked about you. She said a man like you isn't suitable for obstetrics and gynecology. Oh, I also feel that I'm not suitable. No, but I think you are. If you don't want to work in maternal and child health, I'll appoint you as an associate chief physician. In three months, I'll promote you to the deputy director of the department. Within a year, I'll make sure you have your own responsibilities. Li Xiaosi took the opportunity to try to recruit Fang Hao. Fang Hao, I'll remember your words. After handing over with your junior sister tomorrow, if she really doesn't want me, I'll consider working here. Fang Hao took a sip of water and said, Director, I came here today to make a deal with you. Oh, a deal? What kind of deal can you make with me? What do you want from me? What do you have to offer? Li Xiaosi didn't expect the first attempt at poaching to succeed, but she couldn't just let everything go smoothly with Fang Hao. This young man was quite cunning and didn't seem as innocent as he looked. She needed to be cautious. Fang Hao said, Last time, there was a pregnant woman in your obstetrics and gynecology department with the umbilical cord wrapped around the baby's neck. I heard that you monitor her every 15 minutes, even at night, but there's no solution to prevent premature birth. This is a deadlock. Now that I'm here. Li Xiaosi's pupils contracted, but she interrupted, are you still shameless enough to mention that? You made me lose face. Fang Hao, Director Li, if you are uncomfortable with what happened before, please don't hold on to it. I'm here now. We can go to the ward together, and I'll help her untangle the situation. Can you do that? Li Xiaosi was somewhat skeptical. Of course. If I can't, I wouldn't have come to make a deal with you. I'm confident in this. Director Li, I haven't forced Director Lu Yu to insist on bringing the pregnant woman here. I hope to credit you for this. You just became the director, and you also hold a vice position. If you can't show results, how will your superiors and colleagues view you? By solving this problem for the pregnant woman, you can maximize the benefits of this achievement. If you still hesitate, it's not the Director Li I know. I'll leave immediately and not disturb you anymore. Don't go. Can you really untangle the situation? Are you not lying to me? Of course. What if you fail? Then I'll jump off your obstetrics and gynecology building. If I can't handle such a simple matter, I wouldn't have the face to live. Don't brag. How will you do it? Through unconventional methods that I can't explain in words. But you should trust me. I never failed at the provincial people's hospital, did I? Right, every time you take an unconventional approach, you succeed. Li Xiaosi thought that Fang Hao wouldn't offer flattery for no reason. She asked, you mentioned a deal. 
What do you want in return? Fang Hao smiled and said, My request is simple. If your younger sister takes over as the leader, I'll certainly have no say. Director Liu Yu has also left the gynecology department, but she secured a laboratory for me at the School of Pharmacy, Jiangdong University, where I plan to conduct some independent research. Since your husband is a big player in medical equipment, representing many medical devices, my request is straightforward, I want you to gift me a set of equipment, a DNA rapid identification instrument worth around 500,000. That's it. Li Xiaoxi assessed Fang Hao's words and checked something on her computer. After exchanging messages with her husband and receiving a reply, she said to Fang Hao, the equipment you're asking for is designated for judicial sales, and without the proper procedures, you can't take it away. Fang Hao responded, I don't want to go through the hassle of procedures, that's why I've come to you. 50,000 is just a drop in the bucket for you. But, considering the significant favor you did for the pregnant woman, being her lifesaver, which of these two values is greater? In a word, if this deal can be done, great, if not, I'll leave. Do it. You better succeed, otherwise, I'll make sure you regret it. Although Li Xiaoxi wasn't highly skilled in medicine, she had a certain level of boldness in her actions. She immediately decided to take the risk, got a white coat for Fang Hao, and took him to the department. Fang Hao observed the daughter-in-law of the influential figure. She had an average appearance and didn't meet his standards. Li Xiaoxi, along with the attending physician and other nurses, quickly obtained permission from the pregnant woman. Fang Hao, wearing gloves, gently massaged the side of the pregnant woman's belly. He then instructed Li Xiaoxi and the other nurse to lift the pregnant woman's hips slightly, keeping her in a slightly tilted position. After a moment, the pregnant woman's belly rolled with significant movement. My baby is moving vigorously, kicking me. It's so intense, and my belly feels like it's about to burst, exclaimed the surprised pregnant woman, inhaling sharply. Fang Hao reassured her, saying, don't panic. Your son is turning over. After he completes one revolution, one loop of entanglement will be resolved, making it safer. Really? Just by doing this, he can turn over? Yes, if you don't believe it, you can take a look at the images. Fang Hao paused, giving the pregnant woman and the baby a moment to rest. Although Li Xiaoxi didn't fully believe in Fang Hao, she arranged for further testing. The results from the images indeed showed a reduction in entanglement. She was overjoyed and told the pregnant woman, the entanglement has truly been resolved in one week. It seems this method is effective. Thank you, Director Li. The pregnant woman was not acquainted with Fang Hao and only knew Li Xiaoxi. Rest for five minutes, and then we'll continue unraveling the entanglement. Li Xiaoxi left the room and found Fang Hao smelling a cigarette on the side. She asked, I didn't expect your unconventional method to work. What kind of technique is this? I can't explain it clearly, but I feel it works. Director Li, do you now believe what I said? As long as you unravel the next entanglement, I'll immediately go to the warehouse with you to pick up the goods. Deal. Fang Hao grinned and proceeded to untangle the next complication. An hour later, Li Xiaoxi, after examining the final images, could see no entanglement at all. Overjoyed, she quickly informed the pregnant woman. She took care of the subsequent work and left with Fang Hao, taking him to the warehouse. She even helped Fang Hao load the equipment onto his car. After wiping her hands with a wet tissue, she said, Fang Hao, I'll treat you to dinner tonight. Let's eat together. Skipping dinner. You know I'm a busy person, I have to go back and fine-tune this equipment. Director Li, our collaboration has been pleasant. Let me tell you one more thing, the pregnant woman just now has two more crises. Firstly, her child is already lacking oxygen, and secondly, there's a lump in her left breast. I suggest she undergo further examination. You touched her breast just now? Cough, your thought process. Believe it or not, I'm leaving. Fang Hao left. On the way back, his expression turned serious. For the sake of this equipment, he was willing to abandon his principles. Once you let go of your principles, success becomes much more achievable. What would come next? He would continue to set aside his principles to manipulate Zhou Jiajia? Chapter 224, The Unexpected Four-Year Hero of the Blame Game Zhou Jiajia, the woman who suddenly appeared in front of Fang Hao, turned out to be very familiar with his wife, much to Fang Hao's surprise. Considering that Fang Hao had not met Zhou Jiajia before, the situation seemed increasingly abnormal. To investigate further, Fang Hao discovered that Zhou Jiajia's name was filled in when his wife and her lover made appointments. 
This led Fang Hao to investigate rural inns and health resorts, uncovering the existence of Zhou Jiajia. The visitor registration records at the health resort had been replaced, erasing the old records. The new entries under Zhou Jiajia's name bore a striking resemblance to his wife's original handwriting, with only slight differences. This difference reminded Fang Hao of the trickery used in the true and falsely Kuei performance. He boldly speculated that his wife and Zhou Jiajia both knew the lover, and their relationships were profound, perhaps even involving a polyamorous dynamic. While his wife was clever and resistant, fiercely protecting her lover, making it difficult for Fang Hao to investigate, Zhou Jiajia seemed less guarded and appeared young and innocent. In fact, at noon, Zhou Jiajia hinted at part of the truth, revealing her knowledge of his wife's unscrupulous actions because she was also involved. Moreover, Zhou Jiajia seemed to be too timing or even considering getting involved with Fang Hao. She flirted with him during their first meeting, and her intentions remained unchanged. This gave Fang Hao the idea to use Zhou Jiajia to investigate his wife's lover and obtain DNA from her. He hoped to use a ploy similar to a blame-shifting tactic. When Zhou Jiajia met with the lover, there was a high probability of them engaging in a physical relationship. If they failed to thoroughly clean up afterward, Zhou Jiajia would carry the man's DNA on her, either on the surface or inside her body. Fang Hao planned to use a blame-shifting approach to collect this DNA material. By using a DNA test strip, he could determine whether it belonged to a man and then proceed with a paternity test with his daughter, Jiajia. Although success was not guaranteed on the first attempt, Fang Hao had prepared a convenient machine for testing DNA. In the past, Fang Hao would have found the blame-shifting approach nauseating and would have resisted it. However, after working in gynecology, where he needed to examine women for various gynecological conditions, including using tools like a speculum, he had developed some immunity to such matters. Viewing Zhou Jiajiao as a woman with gynecological issues, Fang Hao felt somewhat reassured about the approach. The plan was in place, now, he just needed Zhou Jiajiao to play her part. The probability of success was high. With his wife occupied taking care of her mother-in-law, the likelihood of her meeting her lover was low. Therefore, Zhou Jiajia, who was called over to help, had the highest probability of interacting with the lover. Given the lover's description as a lecherous old man, it indicated a lascivious nature. Such a man would not limit himself to Fang Hao's wife, he might pursue Zhou Jiajia or other women as well. Fang Hao hoped the lover would choose Zhou Jiajia, increasing the chances of success for his plan. Once he obtained the lover's DNA, successfully matched it with Jia Jia's, Fang Hao would immediately confront his wife and put an end to this humiliating marriage. Wait a minute, for years ago on the wedding night, didn't my wife first meet her lover and then, damn, I've been a blame shifter for four years. This was a reality that was repeatedly maddening. Just as he was pondering this, his phone rang. It was Lu Yu, asking him to come to Lu Jing's house for dinner, they had something to discuss. He had been thinking about getting Lu Jing's keys, and lo and behold, a pillow fell from the sky. Lu Jing's house was beautiful and lavishly decorated, clearly belonging to a wealthy individual. Fang Hao silently thought, no matter what happens, he must tightly embrace this thigh. Lu Jing, wearing casual home clothes, was busy in the kitchen. Fang Hao offered to help, but he was kicked out by her, with the reasoning that she wanted to showcase her cooking skills. Fang Hao coming in later would only disrupt her rhythm, Fang Hao, don't mind her. Let's have tea. When I come to eat at her place, I never step into the kitchen. I just wait for her to finish, and then the meal comes to me. Seeing that the water had boiled, Liu also made tea for Fang Hao. Fang Hao smiled awkwardly and said, Director Liu, as your senior, you have the right to know. Oh, by the way, Director, I just made a deal with Li Xiaosi at the Maternity and Child Health Hospital. He didn't hide anything and explained the transaction, including helping a pregnant woman with unraveling issues in exchange for a set of experimental equipment. Lu Yu was slightly surprised because Li Xiaosi had left the Provincial People's Hospital due to Fang Hao's actions. Li Xiaosi should despise Fang Hao, but now they were making a deal. She asked, Do you think you made a loss or gained something? Fang Hao nodded knowingly and replied, Director, considering the background and status of the pregnant woman, this time, I've given Li Xiaosi a tremendous opportunity for credit and reward. So, I lost. But I don't need the background of that pregnant woman. If I want to exploit it somehow, it's like seeking trouble. In the current situation, I obtained the equipment without spending a penny, and I believe Li Xiaosi didn't learn my technique during the process. So, in that sense, I gained. Exactly. If I were in your shoes, I would have made the same choice. 
Lu Yu agreed and added with a hint of regret, this is me being short-sighted. I didn't even believe you could perform such an impossible operation. Otherwise, I would have convinced the former director to arrange for pregnant women to come to the provincial people's hospital. That would have added to your qualifications. Seemingly discovering a new continent, she continued, write a paper about it. Share this method with others, contribute to the field of medicine. Fang Hao responded, this is a non-conventional method, and I can't explain it through a paper. Really? Treat me as a pregnant woman with this condition. Operate on me, let me experience it. Well, you don't have a baby in your belly, so I can't simulate it. When I touched the pregnant woman's belly, I could sense the fetal position. Combined with my previous experience viewing CT scans, I knew the entanglement direction. Then, I just pushed the baby to make it turn in the opposite direction. Alright, it sounds simple when you say it, but I know only you can make a baby move inside the belly. Lu Yu admired him, and if she could, she would have opened Fang Hao's brain to see how it worked. How could he have so many medical innovations and still not succeed? With Fang Hao's constant dedication to studying medical books and cutting-edge papers, it was almost inconceivable that he hadn't succeeded. Changing the subject, she said, just now, Luo Xuejuan called me. She doesn't want me to appear in the department tomorrow, she hopes you can come and hand over with her. Oh, she thinks I'm a rookie, and it's better for her to establish her authority through a handover with me? If she's so cunning, my days ahead won't be easy. That's right. Your days will be very tough. She won't let you get involved in more department matters. You'll only be an ordinary attending physician. Everything in the department will be under her control. Considering the factions of the Chinese Medicine University and Jiangdong University, she will only suppress you. So, be prepared. In that case, I won't stay in the department. I'll go talk to Director Liu and beg her to mercifully take me in. Fang Hao finished his tea, walked toward the kitchen, and said, Career is going back to square one. I need to adapt quickly, otherwise, trouble will come from my wife's side again. Chapter 225, New Evidence? After dinner, Fang Hao took the keys and accompanied Liu Yu home. Then, he brought the equipment to Jiangdong University. It was a pathology laboratory, covering an area of about 100 square meters, consisting of independent offices, a laboratory, and a storage room. All the necessary equipment was already in place, ready for experiments. Fang Hao checked the DNA rapid testing equipment, and everything seemed to be in order. Considering that his wife was taking care of her mother-in-law and wouldn't be meeting her lover, the old lecher was likely to arrange a meeting with Zhou Jiajia. He called Zhou Jiajia, but the moment she answered, he knew it was futile. Fang Hao, have you figured it out? Where are you? I'll come find you. Zhou Jiajia sounded excited over the phone. Fang Hao could tell the environment was quiet on her end and asked, Where are you? I'm at the underground parking lot of Guomao. Just bought a set of clothes. Very beautiful and sexy. If you want to see, book a room, and I'll come show you. Hee <laughs> hee. Disgusting. She knows how to tempt people. Fang Hao replied, forget it. You're too wild. I'm afraid I can't resist your temptation. I'm at Jiangdong University now. I thought you were here and wanted to chat with you. If you're not here, forget it. Another day perhaps. What do you want to talk to me about? Can't you tell me over the phone? Some things are better discussed in person, it shows my sincerity. Then, I'll book a room, and you can come over. I'll let you know my sincerity. Two out of three sentences were about booking a room. Is your home a hotel? Are you the school flower? You seem more like a social butterfly, a disgraceful woman. Fang Hao felt disdain, but he still said, Did my wife's lover not find you? Or did he find you, and then you came back? Guess. I guess your sister. Fang Hao said, If he didn't find you, I'd be disappointed. If he did find you, I'd have an inexplicable impulse. Fang Hao, do you also have the inclination of an LV wife? LV wife? Am I that perverted? You wench. Wait a minute, how does Zhou Jiajia understand these perverse thoughts? Could it be that she's been brainwashed by that old lecher? It makes sense. Only someone brainwashed would be so depraved. Su Ro should have fallen into the same trap at a young age, being in love with an old lecher. She couldn't change after marrying me, or maybe she didn't want to change. Zhou Jiajia must have followed Su Ro's path or is currently falling into it, having her mind twisted at such a young age. It's really pitiful. Fang Hao said indifferently, guess. Do you think I'd guess or not? Boring. Let's contact another day. Fang Hao hung up the phone. Around 8 o'clock, he arrived at his mother-in-law's villa. Besides checking on his mother-in-law's health, he also needed to pick up the children. 
Inside, there was the young woman from Zhou's family who had taken care of his mother-in-law when she was in the hospital. She volunteered to stay here and look after his mother-in-law. After a quick examination of his mother-in-law, Fang Hao continued with acupuncture, clearing the blocked qi and blood. No one came for dinner, and he wasn't staying here overnight. Was it going to be like this? His mother-in-law seemed slightly displeased. In the afternoon, her relatives came to visit, and they all had dinner together at home. However, when she called Fang Hao, he declined. Fang Hao explained truthfully, you need rest now, and you need a quiet environment. Those three troublemakers will only disturb you. Besides, I do feel a sense of estrangement. This is still your home. Mom, it's because of your illness, and I happen to know a bit of medical skills. Otherwise, you'd look down on this country bumpkin. Now you're a patient, and I'm your family doctor. You can summon me whenever you want. Isn't this role better? I'll be driven to death by you sooner or later. Not possible. You have a long and fortunate life. If you're sleepy, go to sleep. Fang Hao exited the room and closed the door behind him. Seeing his wife leaning against the wall, able to hear their conversation, he approached and said, stay here tonight. There's no need to go back. Tomorrow morning, I'll take the kids to kindergarten. Husband, you shouldn't have spoken to my mom like that just now. She's weak right now, and you're just continuing to agitate her. Suro also didn't want to go back, and she couldn't go back. She was her only daughter and needed to fulfill her filial duty. Yeah, I should take the blame for that. Fang Hao didn't want to argue. He went to check on the children, instructing them to pack their things and be ready to go home at any time. Ten minutes later, Fang Hao finished the acupuncture and left with the children. Su Buyuan had just come out of the study. He walked outside and saw his daughter standing alone under the streetlight at the doorway. He said, Xiao Ro, you've also seen how distant Fang Hao has become. Perhaps a peaceful breakup would be a good choice. Really? If I get divorced, what am I, Su Ro? A divorced secondhand item, looked down upon by many. Su Ro kept looking straight ahead, unable to see the silhouette of Fang Hao's departing car. How she wished Fang Hao would turn back and tell her he wasn't leaving, staying to spend the night with her. Su Buyuan said, you shouldn't think like that. You're still young, and you're so beautiful. You're not worse off than anyone else. With the status and reputation of our Su family, no one would dare say anything about you. Su Ro said, you don't understand women. You're not me, and you haven't seen the problem from my perspective. In reality, after I get divorced, those who have been jealous of me from the Su family and the Zhou family will definitely kick me while I'm down. Under equal conditions, others would choose a fresh and innocent girl rather than someone like me, who has had children and is about to have a second child. As long as he doesn't mind. Su Ro immediately turned her head, staring at Su Buyuan and said, Dad, I've said it before, there is no other person. I only have Fang Hao. I only love Fang Hao. So, I won't get a divorce. This? I believe you, Xiao Rao. Don't get upset. You still have a child in your belly, don't risk harming your health. What I mean is, Fang Hao's attitude is really wrong and excessive. He should be criticized for it. Enough, don't talk about him. He's like that. Give him some time, he will come to his senses. Su Ro hugged herself and turned back to the room. Su Buyuan had a worried expression on his face. He wasn't stupid. Judging by his daughter's reactions, it seemed she had faced some temptation outside, and Fang Hao found out about it. The kind of temptation that his daughter thought wasn't a big deal, not to the extent of getting a divorce, but Fang Hao couldn't tolerate it, leading to the decision to divorce. Ah, the world of young people is truly incomprehensible. Fang Hao returned home, took care of the children, helped them get ready for bed, and rested. He went to the study to read some cutting-edge research topics from abroad. At two in the morning, he received a call from Roe Lee. Sister Lee, have you come back? No, I'm outside. I've been organizing some past events with Dong Yunzhou these days. I saw a set of suspicious photos. It might be Su Ro with another man. I hesitated for a long time, but I think it's better to tell you. Oh? Send them to me to take a look. Fang Hao soon received the photos Rui Li sent. In the pictures, the background was a beach, and the people were a woman wearing sunglasses and a man with a large flat top. They were kissing, strolling, and the man even applied sunscreen to the woman. They both undressed a bit and went into the water. From the gestures of their bodies, they were definitely having fun in the water. The man was none other than Zhang Ling Tian. The woman, at first glance, was his wife.